Hey, cool beans and cool witches, I have a confession. I have an obsession with TV sitcoms, many of which are in syndication. The upside of constant viewing is spotting only fan-favorite Easter eggs or inconsistencies that can come up after seasons of script changes and writer replacements. But this year, instead of just obsessing in silence, I decided to share with more than just my comrades in the fan groups and the hashtags I follow. So welcome to Slightly Obsessed TV Edition. Now don't get me wrong, I know many shows had changes due to different sets for pilots, and I do understand the difference in set versus location filming, but as a lover of home design and floor plans, sitcom sets don't escape my attention. So we can see here on the exterior set of The King of Queens that on set they had a porch, but the exterior location shot of the actual home does not have a porch. And it only has a set of three windows on the left side of the door, whereas in the house, there are two windows or two sets of windows on both sides of the front door. And we can also see in many scenes when Deacon will come over or leave that wow. and guess We're that they exit the to the side as if the stairs are to the side when they're actually center behind them. Another fun script discrepancy is the backstory of how Doug and Carrie met. This scene is a flashback from the show starter where Doug introduces us to Doug and Carrie's song being Gonna Make You Sweat, Everybody Dance Now by CNC Music Factory and that they met at a club, I believe it's sometime in the 80s. And in that time, Doug was actually supposed to hook up with her friend Lynn who couldn't remember his name. She kept calling him Dan. And Carrie was supposed to hook up with Richie, but he thought she was a little bitchy. <laughs> and also because Doug and Carrie ended up going to look for the dog and becoming a couple at that point. Um, but later in the show opener, Yogi, Carrie show. says that Boogie Oogie Oogie is their song, and high. they met in junior high, high. Party, on, which oh, is another discrepancy oh. that we'll get to later on based on another I flashback episode the where they talk about their wedding. Right, I was doing that to everybody back then. Come on. Also something that fans notice in these little clip openers that Jeff Sussman was a co-executive producer and Adam Sandler played Jeff Sussman as a character in the high school reunions. Yes. Kathy Yespa, um, Doug uses her last name as a little excitement quirk of his, Yespa. And Annette Sahakian Davis, they used her name as the car dealership's name uh, when Doug buys the Jeep during the IPS strike. This last little gem of a show opener is also a stand-up piece of Kevin James that he used here and in another episode as like an antidote during the brunch with couples. And I only bring it up for silly reasons. Number one, I doubt Doug doesn't know Domino's number or have it on speed dial or on one of the many takeout ads that they keep in the kitchen. And two, I think Doug would have ordered sows for himself instead of making a sandwich after you got frustrated with Arthur because we both share a love of pizza. That's another obsession of mine, and if you've been watching the channel, you know that as well. So, enjoy. Well, cool beans and cool witches, what unnecessary details do you notice from King of Queens or any sitcoms that you love? Let's keep chatting in the comments and come back next time for more Slightly Obsessed. And don't forget, you are a bilgistic pile of love meat. Like, comment, and subscribe, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.